Hello, Nick Perlas. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Blog Watch at PH. Yeah, thank you. So I, I was asking, uh, wondering, what is your what is statement about the Maguindanao massacre? Yeah, I, I think the Mindanao massacre is totally outrageous. It's yes. totally uncalled for. And it's a symptom of the deeper problem that our country has reached mm. in the sense that uh, this cozy relationship between central government and local warlords yeah. have gone on unabated for a long time. Right. This is totally unacceptable. I think uh, Malacanang should step forward and run after those killers. Mm -hmm. They have totally no reason to kill innocent people. Yeah. And uh, this is one of the things that will be uh, dealt with thoroughly in case people are elected as president of the Philippines. So what is totally yeah. unacceptable. Yes, what would be the solution when you're, for example, as a president? When, uh, I mean, because it's a culture already. Yes. Yeah, it's been happening for you. So, what yeah. are the steps that would be necessary to stop this from happening? Yeah, I, I think uh, it's actually part of, of a wide ranging platform that I have yes. connected to peace and development. All right. Yes. Yeah, the most important thing is to actually contextualize the school conflict. Uh, in terms of patronage competition mm -hmm. for specific resources. Mm -hmm. And that can only happen if communities are very poor, they're uneducated, they can easily be taken advantage of. Right. So uh, one of the things we're going to be doing uh, in, uh, after 2010, should I be given the mandate, mm -hmm. is to start already the massive upliftment of uh, poverty in Pindanao, right. address social justice issues connected to land, Mm -hmm. and uh, also address a uh, better um, judicial system so that these clans, these warring clans, do not have to resort to RIDO, mm -hmm. which is the term they use in Mindanao, okay. RIDO or IDO, RIDO which okay. is a revenge, uh, tribal clan revenge. Mm -hmm. So this is going on, this has uh, been going on uh, for a long time, this okay. RIDO practice, and this is one concrete example of RIDO. Why do you think in this uh, current administration, they don't have, it's not possible to, well, it's still happening. Yeah, this is a real test for the Arroyo administration, yes, okay. because it's known and clearly known that Ampatuan is, is her right hand in, in southern Mindanao. So this will be a test of her credibility, mm -hmm. and if she fails, mm -hmm. all things associated with her will go under the water will go underground yes. because mm -hmm. it's clear she has no political will to deal with this issue. It's, it's really the massacre in you know, Madibana is really outrageous. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. Oh, and gosh. to think that I was just there two weeks ago. Oh, you were there? Yeah, uh, who traveled. did you talk to? No, I was almost organizing uh, all over Mindanao, five regions. Oh. And we passed through Madibanao, Otobato City, and all, all those areas. Were you able to talk to the mayor there? Uh, no, these are mostly civil society oh, okay. organizations. So, and Ampatuan is a known uh, terrorist. I would just use the word terrorist because he terrorizes people. And he can only do that because he has, uh, he has, the, he has the control mm -hmm. of uh, the military. In fact, when there's conflict, there are reports that the military intervene on his behalf in addition to his private army. Yeah, that's why so, they didn't have a convoy. Yeah, and there were uh, apparently uh, reports of uh, police officers from, from his side. Oh, so this, out, this is actually outrageous, and it will lead to a lot of uh, more conflict if the administration does not step forward mm -hmm. to deal with this issue.